It is a horrible reminder of the darkest times of our history, what's happening there, to deport children. This is a war crime. We know today of 16,200 children that have been deported. Only 300 have returned so far. And these criminal actions completely justify the arrest warrants issued by the ICC. Nous avons, vous le savez, l'ambition d'être un acteur tout à fait engagé pour... With Antonio Guterres. Uh, and indeed, the latest... I... We have introduced the possibility in the 10th package um, on listing either personalities or um, companies or entities where we see, also in third countries, that they circumvent the sanctions. So a bundle of measures taken already but this is certainly not enough, and therefore the 11th package of san sanctions will also and mainly deal with the question of circumvention and how we can, um, uh, how we can get against it, go against it. Did the issue of uh, the combustion engine ban uh, come up during the discussion? Uh, the negotiations are progressing. This is the will, uh, there is the will on both sides to resolve this topic and to resolve it within the scope of the provisional agreement that has been found between Council and Parliament. Of course, we will continue to provide all support we can to Ukraine. Just this week, we've dispersed a new macrofinancial assistance tranche worth 1.5 billion euros. With that, we help keep Ukraine running while it is defending itself. And we are once again increasing our military equipment support to Ukraine. And in this context, I also welcome the agreement in the Foreign Affairs Council on aiming to provide one million rounds of ammunition to Ukraine within the next 12 months. To achieve this, we have to massively ramp up production capacity on ammunition in Europe. So we have discussed how to move forward on this as quickly as possible. The Commission will come forward with a legal proposal that allows for the ramping up of industrial production of ammunition. This includes, for example, and therefore the legal proposal is necessary, this includes, for example, the support from the EU budget. So it is about building, expanding and repurposing manufacturing facilities and to strengthen the entire ammunition supply chain to be fast. We have introduced the possibility in the 10th package um, on listing either personalities or um, companies or entities where we see, also in third countries, that they circumvent the sanctions. So a bundle of measures taken already, but this is certainly not enough, and therefore the 11th package of san sanctions will also and mainly deal with the question of circumvention and how we can... Um, uh, how we can get against it, go against it. Um, so the combustion engines were no topic uh, in the European Council. Um, you, of course, know that there are talks between the Commission, represented by Executive Vice President Franz Timmermans, and his counterpart in Germany, that is the Minister of Transport. Uh, the negotiations are progressing. This is the will, uh, there is the will on both sides to resolve this topic and to resolve it within the scope of the provisional agreement that has been found between Council and Parliament. And of course, this includes the scope of the provisional agreement, technology neutral neutrality. I just wanted to mention that time is of the essence uh, in this case, as this file is an important pillar of our Fit for 55 package. Um, and therefore, uh, we intensify the talks. We'll meet again tomorrow, the Euro Summit, at 10 a.m.